Oh my god. This app is fantastic. And it just got even better. Only owners of a Google Pixel phone can have it though. Well, not quite. I'll come back to that at the very end. The applicant in the room here is called Google Recorder. An app that lets you record audio? Well, how exciting. Every phone has an app that can do this. Sure, but can your phone's app auto-transcribe the recording offline and for free? No, it can't. And now, Google Recorder just got even better with some cool new features in its 2.0 version released alongside the new Pixel 4a 5G and Pixel 5. So here's a quick run through. Let's start with what we already knew from version 1. Record some audio. You can use external mics as well, yay! Access the transcription immediately. Here's the new stuff. You can now edit the transcription if Google's almighty voice recognition dare to make a mistake. Long press on the word, then tap edit. Google also added the ability to edit the audio recording itself. Tap on the scissors icon at the top and you'll be able to crop trim off the beginning slash end or both or remove a part from the middle of the recording. You can even edit the audio recording by deleting parts of the transcript. But here's the best new feature. You can create a video with waveforms and captions from your audio file, which is very cool for sharing snippets and teasers on social networks, which are primarily focused on visuals, as we all know. Tap on the three dots in the top right corner and choose Share. Select Video Clip. Hey, what's that? You can even customize your video. Do you want waveforms and captions, or do you only want waveforms? Do you want your video to be in square aspect ratio, portrait or landscape? Do you prefer to have it dark or light? Little bummers, you can't get rid of the two watermarks and videos can only be made from recordings that don't exceed 60 seconds. If you have a longer recording, just use the audio editing tool to create an excerpt from the longer recording and you can then make a video out of that. What's not to like about Google Recorder 2.0? Number 1. Google Recorder still only works in English. I'm confident multi-language support will be coming in the near future though. Number 2. It would be nice to include a custom photo as a background in the video. Number 3. The app only records with a sample rate of 32kHz, which isn't quite on par with broadcast standards of 44.1 or 48kHz. It's good enough for most other use cases though, I suppose. Number 4. It's only available for Google Pixel phones. Or is it? Actually, you can sideload the app to other Android phones like I did with my LG G8X. It's a bit more complicated though, so I won't get into it in this video. If you want to learn more about it, do check out my blog post on www.smartfilming.blog. Thanks for watching.